Hello and welcome to another video and this video is aimed directly at flat earthers. This is a video to challenge you to provide evidence that the earth is flat because so far you've come up with nothing. You have no evidence, you have no arguments. I have watched flat earth videos now for about two years. All I have all I have ever seen in any flat earth video is misunderstandings, misrepresentations, logical fallacies, and an awful lot of just out and out lies. All of these so-called arguments fall to bits under close scrutiny that you put up for the earth being flat. Now, I'm going to challenge you to provide one simple piece of evidence that you should be able to provide if the earth is flat. It's a really simple, obvious piece of evidence that doesn't exist. Now, the reasons that you lot will give for it not existing are some vague arguments about vanishing points in perspective, which just don't add up at all. Now, to explain what this challenge is. I've, I'm showing you a picture here uh, to start with. Now this picture you can see is taken from France and it shows the white cliffs um, near Dover in England on the other side. Now if we go to Google Earth um, and we look at this side, this part of France here, now it's not totally clear where this picture was taken. It's, it's been taken somewhere along this part of the coast here near Calais in France. Now, I've, I've created a path along here of which we can look at an elevation profile. Now, you can see that quite close to the coast, there's places where the, the land goes up to over 300 feet. There you go, there's 250 feet. Now, these places, you would certainly expect to be able to see um, all the, the white cliffs on the other side because... The horizon at that um, height would be, I don't know, maybe about 25 miles away. And the land, if you go in a little bit further, it, it goes up even higher. There's places where it gets to over 400 feet. So if we look at um, the distance across the English Channel from this part of the coast of France oops, to round about Dover, you can see that it's about 22 miles. And we know from this picture here that you can take a photograph across that kind of distance easily. You can take a photograph of something 22 miles away or further, much further. Um, but that photograph is perfectly reasonable because, like I said, there are places in this part of the coast of France where you go high enough where you should be able to see that far because the horizon will be that far, um, will be about maybe 20. 324 miles away. So you'd expect to be able to see the White Cliffs of Dover. However, if we go right down to the beach, or very close to it, see if you go down to this point here I've marked, and look across, um, you wouldn't expect to be able to see the cliffs. You can't see them in this. I'm not, I'm not offering this as proof. Okay, I'm, I'm not saying this is proof. Uh, from I mean, the images here aren't that clear and it could be that it's a misty day, whatever. Lots of reasons you could give, right? I'm not saying this is proof. But you can't see the white cliffs from here. And I wouldn't expect you to be able to see them from here because it'd be behind the curvature of the earth. Now, I've done, I've done a, a path for this location as well. Um, oh, this is useless. Exit. Right, there we go. Okay, so this path here tells us that um, elevation profile. No, it's the wrong one, just give me a sec. I'll go to this one instead. So I'll do an elevation profile. So you can see that this path here, where the marker is, that's about 12 feet above sea level. 
So if you were standing with a camera, your camera might be maybe what, 17 feet above sea level. Now, I would suggest if the Earth is flat, you should be able to stand there with a camera and take a photograph of Dover on the other side. You should be able to see all of it. You should be able to see these docks. You should be able to see the beach. Um, but no photograph, as far as I know, it exists like that. So my challenge to you as a flat earther would be to provide a photograph that shows something like this. So the challenge would be, choose a stretch of water at least 20 miles across. Stand near the seashore. Now, I'm prepared to give you a certain leeway to make, give you a good chance to make this work. Your ca if your camera lens is within 30 feet of sea level, I'd say that's acceptable. So I'm going to give you 30 feet. So, if you're, so the challenge is to take a photograph where your lens is within 30 feet of sea level, or the level of the water, of someone or something within 30 feet of sea level at least 20 miles away. And you can use any camera you want, you can use any zoom lens you want of any magnification. Now you lot are always saying that you can see past the horizon with a telescopic lens or a telescope. Well, if this is if you're right about that, you should be able to do this. You don't have to do it here across the English Channel, you can do it anywhere in the world. Anywhere where you've got a stretch of water, maybe 20 to 30 miles across, show a photograph taken straight across that stretch of water using a telescopic lens. Okay, within 30 feet of sea level, show something within 30 feet of sea level on the other side, 20 miles away. If you can't do that, then why are you saying the Earth is flat? I mean, this is a totally reasonable expectation. If this water is flat, as you're always telling us, then why can't you see straight across it? And you're forever coming up with videos that supposedly show things that are impossible, like one island in Hawaii visible from another one, but when you do the analysis, it's always perfectly consistent with spherical Earth. And the Whatever you're looking at is invariably partially obscured by the horizon anyway. But then you claim that you can see things all the way down to the... that aren't obscured by the horizon at all. But when you're shown things that are obscured by the horizon, you start bleating on about perspective. I mean, you're completely inconsistent about this. It's a total mess. Well, this is a chance to clear the situation up. It's a really simple experiment. Just show us photographs. Not... I don't want just one. I want. I would want them taken. I want. I'd want it shown that you could do it on several different days to show that it's not some peculiar atmospheric can, um, effect. But if the Earth is flat, you should be able to provide an image like this. I saw them. It's not too much to ask. An image taken across twenty miles of flat sea, according to you. That's all I'm asking. Provide that, and people. We'll start taking this more seriously.